Hi, I'm Shireen and you're watching Note This, where we have a chat to the hottest bands performing in the Inner West. With us today are the awesome Pop Bellies. How are you going, guys? Good, thank you. Now, you guys are going to be performing at the Telstra 500 event. What can fans expect from you guys? Are you going to be singing songs off your latest album? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're just in the middle of, uh, of trying out new songs off our second album. Um, so we're going to have lots of new stuff for people. We're also going to be doing a lot of our, our, our classics, you yeah. know, like Junkyard, Blue, and, and then, you know, obviously Down the Hole, Vatican, uh, you know, all our big yeah. ones. But we've got ramped up new versions. Yep. Haven't we? We've got some, uh, some cool new interesting things. Now, I have to admit that my favourite song is Don't Hold Back. But when it comes to writing the lyrics and all that stuff, where do you guys get the motivation from? to write your music. I don't know. Yeah, we bounce off each other, don't yeah. we? Like sometimes it's 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 blue that just already has something already already done that comes to our backing tracks so or other times we come up with an idea, so it's mm -hmm. a backing track and we go, right, well here's the concept for that just recently mm -hmm. we done one. And uh, it just works in different yeah. ways. Lam, he comes along. We just along. write it together separately. Whenever we get ideas, we just start writing and bring it to the group. And yeah. And then it kind of goes to yeah, a bit of a democracy kind of thing about. And we, people get stuck on certain words and they get very yeah. close to, you know, what they what they mean yeah. out of the song and stuff like that. So we have to work through it. And, and you guys have been a huge success here in Australia. Did you ever think that your songs like Don't Hold Back or Trouble Trouble would be such a huge success? Yeah, I mean, we never thought doing them, did we? That was, we, we were just doing them and we, we kind of got an inkling with Don't Hold Back, you know, um, just this wave of, you know, interest and, and booking. We were like, wow, this song's really, really have it, has, has a life of its own. Yeah. And it really did and yeah. it really made us busy for a long time, you know, for, for years. And are you guys working on anything at the moment, anything that the fans should know about? Oh, well, we're working on our second album and it's sounding really good. Really fun and funky. What can fans expect? Is there a difference? Is there a point of difference from this one? Oh, to the other it's songs? it's still pop ballad music. You know, we've still got the anthemic style coming through, <laughs> and also the funky, very danceable style coming through, which sort of balance each other out. Yeah. 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 It's um. I mean, you're just gonna have to see it at the VA thing, you know. We've got, we've been testing them out, and people have been there, uh, have been singing along after the first listen. Yeah. So it's kind yeah. of working. It's kind of working so far. Yeah. So. Well, considering you guys are performing on the same day as the V8 Supercar Championships, I have to say, or ask actually, do you guys even have an interesting car? <laughs> hey, you can't, can't go wrong with a hot car, really. What was your first car? You just recently. You <laughs> <laughs> just got one recently. What is um, that? <laughs> I just got a 1977 Mercedes mm -hmm. um, sedan, and it runs on vegetable oil. Really? <laughs> so it's a it's a clean it's a diesel engine. It's yeah. like a twin engine's been converted to run on vegetable oil. Totally recycled <laughs> and green and saving the green. environment. Yeah, and, what about and it runs for free. Yeah. What was your first car? Well, I I don't actually have a car. I oh, never had a car. Well, yeah, well in, in in Ireland it was just really expensive for insurance. Mm -hmm. So I moved out here when I was 21. So I never bought again a license before yeah. I came out here. And then since I've been here, I've been living in the city, so yeah. there's not much point in getting a car. So I've held out and resisted for as long as possible. Well, I mean, we went to see it in Adelaide, we went to see it in Townsville, mm -hmm. and it's always a good buzz. I mean, it's all the, the people that come, it's just yeah. it's such a big sport here in Australia, oh. I can't believe it. So um, it's always a great atmosphere yeah. these things. But I have to ask, Team Holden or Team Ford? I don't know, I think I'm going to well, uh, Holden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not comment really because I don't know how much to about it. So. All right. Well, Holden was Australian once upon a time, so once upon. I said Holden. Yeah, I'll go with that. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for having a chat to me. Thank you. Career. No worries. Pleasure. Thank you. The Potbellies, the presets, and Sneaky Sound System will be performing back-to-back -back concerts at Sydney Telstra 500 on December 4. Tickets are only $48. Go to Ticketek to purchase your tickets.